We love hip hop. We'll start with peace. Top five seems to have made peace with DJ Drama. Now, y'all remember what happened with DJ Drama not too long ago. This was, how long ago was this? Let me pull up my Instagram page and take a quick look because now when I think about it, this is a while back, probably like two years ago when DJ Drama was over here. All right. Let's go on to the We Love Hip Hop page and see what's going on. Hold on, let me just refresh the page quick, fast. Uno momento. I might have to open a whole other page. Let's do that. Instagram. Let's go on the gram. I'll open another page for y'all. And we'll see what happened to drama just uh, <laughs> down to earth. Like, what a topic for first. I know, I know. We start with love. Then we'll get to the drama. You know, no, no pun intended. So this is what happened with drama back in June of 2023, if you all remember. Am I not getting no damn audio? Where is my audio? This all, this what you fucking get for not checking in. Shout out, boy Drizzy, eh? Triple G's, you know how we rock, slap, blah, blah. Jeez. Okay. Just to take you all down memory lane, quick, fast. Y'all need to see it again. This all, this what you fucking get for not checking in. Shout out, boy Drizzy, eh? Triple G's, you know how we rock, slap, blah, blah. I feel like he almost hit me with that, bro. So that was about two, um, so about a year ago now, year and change. He came down here, drama was at the club. He was shining, he was shining, bro. And apparently he got some bottles to the head, allegedly. Let's go with allegedly. He got some bottles to the head top. It was a gruesome sight that, from what I heard, was at the was going down at the club. It was it wasn't pretty, and we did a report on if drama had to pay sixty k to get his his jewelry back. You know, there was a whole thing on the Aiden Ross stream where YG and them were saying, "Yo, not to get his jewelry back, but to come back here to Toronto." He did get his jewelry back. Okay, how did drama get his jewelry back? Do I y'all remember that? A second, let's do this. DJ Drama Chains, because I'm trying to remember how we got his damn chains back. I don't know if the Wasas or it was the GGs that were able to get the chains back to him. He paid a hundred bands for the for the chains. Yeesh. DJ Drama can't react. He paid 120 grand for the chain. Oh my God. So DJ Drama's team has denied claims that he paid $120,000 to get his stolen chains back. Denied. It's Asia Sky for Hip Hop DX. And check this out. DJ Drama's team has denied rumors that the music mogul paid one denied $120,000 to reclaim jewelry that was allegedly stolen from him during a recent scuffle in Toronto. On Saturday, June 10th, video surfaced of three masked men claiming to be in possession of Drama's iced out Generation Now chains. This what you fucking get for not checking in. Shout out, boy, Drizzy, eh? Triple G's, you know how we rock, slap, blah, blah. The clip was posted to Canadian rapper Top oh, Five's man. IG page with the caption. I missed the. Okay, what does it say here? For all you don't post my music. Um, so for all you who don't post my music and don't play my music in 2023, your chain's getting snatched at DJ Drama. Come get your chain back, little boy. Hashtag GGG. You can run, but you can't hide starting off hot for all you that don't post my music and don't play my music 2023 your chains are getting Please. snatched at dj drama come get your chain back little boy on tuesday june 13th dj academic shared a report about drama supposedly reacquiring his stolen jewelry for one hundred twenty thousand dollars. 
Okay, so this is back. Then Keep Six reports that DJ Drama's chains are on the way back. I remember that post. There's top five there. 120 for the chains back. That's a good deal. That's a great deal. In the post comment section, top five replied, 120K for the chain back. That's a good deal. When academics reposted the interaction, the official Generation Now IG account commented on the post using the cap emoji. Additionally, the label's co-founder, Layton Lakeshow Morrison, laughed off the claims, writing LOL. So, what are your thoughts on DJ Drama's camp implying that he didn't pay $120,000 to get his chain? Hmm. I don't know if I believe that. You know, it's so easy these days to just use the cap emojis. You don't even have to say words. You could just put the cap emoji. And everybody's supposed to just disregard everything that any everybody was talking about you. You know what I mean? Somebody could say, "Oh, this nigga's a rat. He got a bunch of paperwork on him. He jumps on Twitter, or not even Twitter, black screen, Instagram stories, cap." From there, that's the response. It's over. Right. Um, Kyle Johnson says Century showed the bread on academics. Yeah, I feel like there was a little bit more to this, ch this whole chain thing. Canadian greasy neck tour DJ drama. Uh, DJ academic speaks on chain getting snatched. There was so much. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you. Yeah. And like, act like they got that that boy shit back. I thought it was and Keep it wasn't Six even that really got like that. that. It was just like, I thought Keep Six he was Solly got it back. Pardon? I thought Keep Keep yeah. Six Solly got it back. No, no, no. Like, it was a it was a white guy that was a entrepreneur. You know what I'm trying to tell you? Yeah, yeah. He yeah. runs a few businesses. We don't. We're not gonna say names. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. He was the one. He was the one that that got that bag and said, "Yo." Oh, you made a payment. So I'm a, a little payment. He, he did the payment. Oh, okay. he did the payment. Oh, so it wasn't. And, and, so, so and hold on. Even... wait, wait, wait. Pardon? Hold on. I, I'm, I'm, you can hear me good? You can hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. I can okay. hear you. The reason why I'm asking is because, you know, we got to clarify. So mm -hmm. so on that situation, a payment needs it needed to be exchanged, whether it was from drama or not. It might have not been him, but somebody else made a payment on his behalf for that, for that jewelry to be returned and recovered. Mm -hmm. Which, by the way, to be to be clear, and you could tell him now. For, 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 he didn't even know it wasn't even like for, for, for this to be recovered. Was any payment exchanged? No payment no. for the people who don't know. That's um, Cap the what's the name, Cap the God, or I don't know. I feel like calling him Cap the God is crazy. But that kid, Cap, that was over here, um, with annoying TV, he got his chain snatched. They were in the sprinter, I think they were in the middle of downtown. I think it from where it looked. On the camera from the windows, it looked like they were like on King Street, right by LCBO around there. Really open area, maybe a different spot. Who knows? Who knows? Doesn't matter. But at that point, when them boys got the chain snatch, okay, somebody came out with the tooty, and the chain got snatched, and the greasy the greasy neck tour began. So Ak Ak, Ak is experienced in getting chains back. Because he did get that chain back. No Here we payment. go. Come on, man. No payment. They know this. Come they know on. this. Yo, talk, they yo, know yo, this. talk to them, dog. Yeah. They could proud. Hey. They know this. Hey, hey, hey. So hold on. Because a lot of people do got the six kind of fucked up a little bit, right? Mm. Um, With the drama thing, mm. was it disrespect? Like, what, from what you're hearing, why did they even take his shit? It was just like, he was in the club kind of. You know what I'm trying to tell you? Trying to walk in the bitch like he owns it. You know what I'm trying to tell you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is what I'm hearing. I was even there that day, but that's what I'm hearing. You know what I'm trying to tell you? Yeah, yeah. Coming in there flexing Niggas, like a motherfucker, right? Like a motherfucker. Niggas think shit is... Thanks for demonetizing the stream, hack. Jeez. Illinois. Yo. What's popping? What are you saying? Just here, man. Just here. Okay. Yeah, what's I, going on, man? You, nothing, man. I just, well, I just finished watching the Lila Mill or what's her name, Layla. Oh, Leah May. Yeah, yo, I watched. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna be reacting to that at, at, at some point yeah, just I, now. You know what I'm saying? These guys are something else, but yeah. 
what are your thoughts on this whole uh, chain, the, 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 the turn of events? Actually, let well, me get to the turn of events before. before all right, I well, it's good, me, that me... he did. it's good that he did that because he can build a relationship with drama now, right? Mm. In a sense that maybe now he can probably, because he's already, he's already buzzing, man. Like, that that video or that 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 next topic we're gonna go on that you're gonna go on is already at like forty seven thousand. That video came out six hours ago, right? So, yeah, that's that one. I mean, so he's buzzing and like either way, but it's it's good for him in the sense that he can he, he can he could probably get a net, he could probably network with him now. Yeah, yeah. You know I mean, and then so, drama could probably even come down here again too, and feel safe. <laughs> Well, I, I reported before from what, you know, YG was saying on the Aiden Ross stream that that man's uh, allegedly got 60 racks from drama so that he can come back. So I guess he was already back. Okay, so he must have paid, they must have, they must have, he must have checked in with the man then. Wow, when you think about it, 120, and this is, you know, because they, they try to refute it, but allegedly 120 racks. Yeah. Plus 60 racks. What are we at? 180 racks off of DJ Drama? <laughs> City Boys up this summer, bro. <laughs> Yo, these guys are serious, bro. That's crazy. That's wild, man. That's Even wild. if it's just half of that. Right? That's, that's still, still that's crazy. Still, that's, that's, that's a lot of bread, man. Yeah. That's a lot of bread. You know what I'm saying? That's, mm. that's a wild thing. So I have the post here up on the screen. Okay. And this is a post from Top 5 Stories. And it says, made it right with DJ. We're at DJ Drama. Shout out to Boondog. So this is a FaceTime between Drama, Drama and Boondog. And, Boondog. And, and there's an arrow that I put on, on the, the post here for y, um, for, y, five. For, for 5. Okay. Yeah, dude. That's good, man. That's a good thing. That's one less problem that, they have to deal with, that, that, that we have to deal with. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's yeah. one problem solved, with, but yo, like, oh my god, yeah, man. I think it's a good <laughs> thing, though. Act and, and I was trying to, I was trying to type in because I was on, um, what's it called, um, what's it called, Twitch. I was trying right. to type in to let you, like, to tell you that that it was they, they, they basically said that he had to pay a certain amount of money, which was like the hundred k or whatever, mm. and then. I think it was, I think, because I was watching that act stream, and I was like, yeah, they're supposed to be sending me the chain. They're sending me the chain right now, UPS. And then he pulled it out on that stream. And then he gave it back to Drama, I guess. So they must have paid, he must have paid the money, and then they sent it to Ak, and I, I brought it to him. No, 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 no. That no? chain that he pulled out there, that was a different chain. Okay. That chain that he had there was a chain with a cap on the end. Yeah. That was a chain before. That was a chain from... um. His homie, the next streaming youth named um, Cap or Cap. The oh, yeah, the guys that got that got jacked in the sprinter. Yeah, yeah. People don't know Toronto. I think people, a lot of people think Toronto's sweet, right? It's Canada. This We're supposed to be polite. And don't get it twisted. It is one of the safest cities in the world. You know, it's not like people are walking around with machine guns and you got to worry about getting your, your head bust off over in Dundas Square. But... Right. But you can't, you can't, you can't mess around on here. <laughs> yes, you can't be going around there shining, you know, just going no security in the club. Especially back in the days, they didn't know. So a lot yeah. of times, rappers used to come out here and not have mad security, and that's why they used to get jammed. Because they they move a certain way to get they get liquored up and start moving a certain way because because of their ego. They would, yeah. they would they wouldn't check the ego at the door. They'd bring it in the door with them. You know what I'm saying? So people used to get checked. Cause they're like, oh, I'm in, I'm in Canada. It's full, of, it's full of Eskimos, and you guys are soft, and da 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 da. Yeah. And boom, they get checked, beat up, rob, stick up. Yeah, All you can't walk ones. around with that preconceived notion that, right. oh, you know, everything that I heard about um, Canada on South Park is true. So now I'm gonna come around and act like that. Right. It's not. It's not, it's not a. Be, it's not a better roses, man. <laughs> They need to understand that. Trust me, trust me. Yeah. But yeah. yo, listen, I'm 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 cooking on a, on a solo tonight. I'm just keeping everybody for a short space of time. You know mm. what I'm saying? Yeah, I'll tune in still. I'm trying to watch the football game same time because I put money down on on the Cowboys. You know? 
Oh, snap. <laughs> <laughs> man knows how to lose some money out here, bro. Cow, cow, the Cowboys and the Lakers, man. Preseason ball, too. Oh, you're talking about um, um basketball. Basket, the, the... Yeah, I put down a bit on the Lakers. And okay. The, the the Cowboys. So I'm just I'm watching stream same the time. Cowboys. Yeah, they're playing oh. football right now. Steelers so you're watching. You're you're betting on football and basketball at the same time. Yeah, bro. Jesus Christ. You're a real one with that one, bro. <laughs> well, I'm gonna pray for you, bro. You know yeah, man. Don't know. We'll link. Uh, All right, uh, brother. Don't know. I'll stick on. The, I'll, I'll be in the chat still. Yeah, man. All right. Don't know. Don't know, brother. Salute to DJ Illinois, man. So, as far as with this right now, we have peace. Okay? No more problems. I guess DJ Drama will be back just now. Hopefully, we'll see some collabos. Okay, now that Five is home. I know he's been working on some new music with Bundog and YG. So, maybe we'll get a, we'll get a collabo uh, popping off just now. You know what I'm saying? But I like this. I like to, I like to start with peace. And and no more drama, as they say. But uh, let's move on. Let's move on. We love hip hop.